Well, here we are, Redcrest 2022. You know, a lot of anglers worked hard to get here last year. We are here, Grand Lake of the Cherokees, beautiful place here in Grove, Oklahoma. Man, I'm looking forward to the opportunity to win 300 grand this week. Yeah, Redcrest is one of the hardest events to qualify for. You have 80 of the best anglers in the world, all vying for 40 spots at this tournament right here. This is the Super Bowl of bass fishing. 300 grand on the line. You got one in 40 chances to win it. Hard to get here, so I'm here. I'm excited. I'm ready to, you know, try to win it. All right, got to get some crankbaits put on. Uh, this morning, Strike King 1.5, hard knock, and a Series 3. I came down here to this lower end. We're supposed to get a lot of rain in practice or tomorrow and later on today, so I'm thinking that upper end is going to get more blown out. You know, I, I really don't know, but I'm thinking that might. I don't want to get on anything out and open, you know, live scope type stuff up there because it might muddy up. Down here, it, I might be able to buy another day or two before the mud works its way down. So we're gonna try to throw a KVD jerk bait and uh, maybe a little baby Z2 on a jig head out over open water and try to find some on uh, forward facing sonar this morning and then maybe expand on that crankbait bite a little bit later on today. So y'all stay with us. This is a channel swing. A little point right here in the main lake comes and the channel butts up against this one point and then you got a series of flats. So these, this is the kind of area where a group of fish would be. That's the kind of stuff I'm gonna look at first thing this morning, just places where I think a concentration of fish would be. Well, maybe they are bass. Red Crest, 40 of us, 41 I believe, made it here and we'll all compete for two days. Then it'll get broken down. The top 20 will make it. And then that 20 will be broken down into 10. They'll be fishing to get to the final 10, which will be championship day. So it's a little, a little different format. I like anything that's different. <laughs> that's what they are. Dinner, anyone? What was that? What was that? Mark Rose is gonna win Redcrest. Really? Thanks, buddy. On a Series 3? Oh, and a 1.5, he says. You know, the past experience in the other Redcrest really has, I mean, this is a totally different fishery. Good to know. It's all about just figuring Grand Lake out, whatever lake you're on at any championship event and the guy that figures grand out the best this week is going to be the guy that wins i've got a good you know solid pattern established um i just need i feel like i need uh, a way to catch them quick and uh that's what we're trying to do now is figure out that way to light up the score tracker quick you know doing this as long as i have the excitement of these big events like this really uh you know, still gives you something to work hard towards and motivate you. And I want to do good to give me a platform to do what I love to do, which is outdoor ministry. Doing good in these events gives you a, just a little more credibility and opportunities to be able to do that. This weather we're getting is, you know, it's not really what we would think that we would want, but we are really close. I mean, this is basically an Ozark style fishery. These bass in this region love this kind of weather. As long as it's not snowing or anything like that, the weather's not gonna get down below freezing. I think the fish are gonna bite. The fishermen might get a little cold. I don't think it's gonna affect them all that much in a negative way. If anything, it's gonna make the fish fishing better. Practice didn't go great, it didn't go bad, it just went okay. Do I have a feeling that I'm gonna win Redcrest right now? I can't say no because I have confidence in making it happen out there. It's springtime, transition time of year, fish ought to be, you know, moving according to the weather. So 
I have a lot of confidence that I can win. Did I find that winning hole, I feel like? No. The opportunity is there. I've got every bit of confidence that I can catch them as good as, you know, anybody else fishing Red Crest, so. I would like to have found me one spot, forward facing sonar deal or a ledge or a foundation where I can throw a football jig on it and just catch them. Didn't find that. We're gonna go out there and wind a KVD 1.5 and a Series 3 and spinner bug, maybe even a thunder chicken. We'll make it happen during the tournament. In the spring, if you don't have a Strike King shaky head and a Strike King seven and a half or seven inch perfect plastic green pumpkin finesse worm on it, you're missing out. It's like a banana split to a bass. It's Redcrest. I mean, it's the Super Bowl. It's the biggest tournament in bass fishing. It's got the best anglers uh, in it. To win this thing, you will have beat the best. Well, it's day one of Redcrest. Wouldn't have it any other way that there's a winter blast coming through Grove, Oklahoma. You know, it is a Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour event, so we wouldn't have it any other way. But, you know, it's going to affect the fishermen a lot worse than the fish. You know, it's springtime. A little cool snap in the middle of some warm weather we've been having. I feel good. Got a good night's rest. We're ready to go get them today. Yeah, I mean, the opportunity is there, you know. How many chances do you get? One in 40 chances to win $300,000 catching bass. Well, started out first two periods were, you know, not great, but good. We were in the top 10 and and for whatever reason, that third period, just really the end of the second period and the third period killed me. I swapped areas. I thought that I had, you know, wore that first area out and I should have never left. I should have stayed there. I'll probably stay in that one area all day tomorrow and uh, see if we can make this thing. We ain't out of it yet. Big group of guys right there at the cut. It was one bite one bite for anybody. We gotta get out there tomorrow and catch us a big fish, catch us a couple bonus fish and then maintain. The number of fish was a little bit down today due to the weather. I mean, you just couldn't move around. Uh, it affected the way you fished and uh, the little bit of cold snap, I think as, uh, as it gets warmer, it's gonna get better. We got another day tomorrow, it's just halftime. We gotta go in, talk to the coach, my wife and kids, and uh, come back out working hard this second half to make this thing. All right, it's day two at Redcrest and I got a message for the guys in the top 20. Caution. I'm planning on moving up in there today. I need a big fish today, and then we just need to maintain the day that we had yesterday. There's only one day left to get inside the top 20 cut, and you gotta pull out all stops. You gotta make it today. You can't win Redcrest if you don't make it inside that top 20 today. So that's the plan. I'm gonna work hard, honor God, leave the results up to him. Hey, if we don't make it, we get to go hang out with all the fans at the Expo. There's no chance to win Redcrest if you don't get inside that top 20, but it's not the end of the world. We still get the chance to go hang out with a lot of the fans of the sport and the sponsors if we don't make it but goal certainly is to be inside that top 20 at the end of period three today According to plan, uh, I worked the, the plan that I had for the day and the fishing was uh, just a little better for me than the first day. So, uh, you know, you, you double the weights from day one, you get 26, I ended up with 27. So I did my part. We just come up a little bit short, man. I, I, 
I don't know what else to really say about that. We, we caught several 114s and 115s. I broke a fish off. That just kind of lets you know this red crest wasn't mine, you know, it wasn't meant to be on this one. That's the way I kind of gauge stuff like that. Yeah, that's the most exciting place you can be, right on that cut line. It's the most intense play. You know, you guys at home watching it, I, I can't imagine how exciting it is, but you guys can't imagine how stressful it is on my end. You know, it's just uh, every sport, when you deal with so many people and have a cut line, there's gotta be that one guy that finishes just out. I've been at the top. I've been that guy, I've been at the bottom, I've been everywhere in this sport. You just gotta keep it in perspective and continue to work hard. Yeah, at this point, I just have to, you know, thank the good Lord for a good tournament, a good opportunity, safety, all that good stuff, and then focus on the next one. You can't dwell on this one. You're only as good as, you know, your, your, your next performance. Crest. We're here at the Expo. Man, this is a great opportunity for us to mingle with the fans, talk fishing, meet people that really support us and uh, support this great sport that we're involved in. So we're going to mingle through here. I've got to go over to General Tire Booth, ask a couple of questions. And so we're just going to go and visit over there a minute and then uh, come back over here. So y'all stay with us. How you guys doing? Hey, brother. How are you, man? You doing all right? How are you? Good. Probably a long time to see me. Yeah, it's been a while. Can you sign it? I sure will. Sign it right there. I'll sign it wherever you want to, buddy. Right all right, that's where I'm gonna sign it. There you go, buddy. What are you telling me? What are you telling me? <laughs> hey, so he wants to give you something. Well, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Give it right here. How Good to doing, see you. How are you doing in the tournament? Well, I came up five ounces shy, so. I'm here hanging out with you guys for the next couple of days. <laughs> okay, man. Good luck in the next tournament. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Yeah, you bet, buddy. How you, How you doing? doing? Good, good, sir. Good. Appreciate it, sir. You're welcome. Y'all take care. Hi there, young lady. How are you? You want a picture? Are you being shy? What's your name? Hey, bud. How are you? You want me to sign that? Good to meet you, buddy. Good luck fishing. Well, thank you, you very much. You bless us. I appreciate the way you praise the Lord. And we, we, we were wanting to see you today. Well, thank We've you. We've been yeah. chasing you down. That's awful nice of y'all to encourage me like that. Hey, oh, thank yeah. Thank you. I like how you're open about your love for yeah. Jesus. Well, thank you. We're right there with you. We're like, yes. We're right there time. with you. If I, I get to fish with you here on earth, I'm going to fish with you in heaven. <laughs> I hear you, brother. Sure. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank y'all for encouraging me oh, like that. Yeah. It means a lot. Yeah. That, 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 that means today. a lot. Yeah, we, we're glad we ran into you. That's right my heartbeat. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Thank y'all. You're welcome. Appreciate it. King booth. This man, this is a cool setup. This has got to be one of the best looking booths at Redcrest. We've got Strike King and Lou's apparel. We've got all of the lures on display. We've got the sexy dog and the mega dog. KBD splashes, sexy dogs. What do we have over here? We got the Something that's near and dear to me. The XD lineup, hard knocks, six XDs, five XDs, three XDs. The entire XD lineup is here with 10 XD and eight XD as well. Man, I can't tell you how many fish that I have weighed in on an XD series crankbait. Skipping buzz, this is 
connecting the blade arm and the main uh, arm, allowing it not to get out of shape. So whenever you skip this bait and you skip it really hard, uh, it hits the water hard, your blade arm is not gonna get thrown out of whack or when a fish bites it, it's gonna stay right there in contact because of this connector right here. Man, that's an awesome, that's innovative right there. That's pretty cool. Finesse worms, game hogs, brand new spinner baits, tour grade spinner baits, Shadalicious, we got all the swim baits, the rage swimmers. You know, this is a good time that we'll have to spend some time with fans and sponsors and things like that. So you got to look at the positive out of this and uh, move on to the next one. I will hear 1,742 times over the next few days. Man, I was pulling for you. You were that guy, I was, you were so close. Why couldn't you just catch one more fish? You know, things like that. So uh, you just have to, when you're in that position, you just have to know it's coming.